Welcome to the 20 minute full body yoga stretch. You won't need anything for your practice today, just your body, your breath, and a willingness to relax and slow down. So when you're ready, meet me in extended child's pose. With your knees as wide as comfortable, arms out long in front of you. Rest your forehead down onto your mat. Or if you're feeling a little stiff to start, you can always rest your forehead on stacked fists or stacked wrists. Take a few deep breaths to settle in. Take your time as you slowly rise. Coming up onto your hands and knees into a tabletop. For a cow pose, just drop your belly, lift your chin, roll your shoulders open, and hold this posture as you breathe into it. Noticing any sensation. Take one more big breath in, then exhale to cat back, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, and pull your navel in towards your spine. And come back to a neutral spine on your hands and knees and tabletop. Then take your time as you make your way to downward facing dog. With a generous bend in your knees, begin to straighten out one leg and then the other, finding a pace, even a movement that serves you best today. From here, separate your feet mat distance for a wide leg variation of down dog. And with a little bend in both knees, reach your hips high and back, press your chest towards your thighs, take a big breath in through your nose, and out through your nose. Then walk your hands towards the back of your mat, settling into a deep, wide leg forward fold. Let your head hang heavy and feel your breath as it travels up and down your spine. Come back to stillness and plant your right hand on your mat directly underneath your chin. So your hand and your feet would make a triangle. Then reach your left arm up to the ceiling, opening up into a twist. You're welcome to prop up on fingertips or even separate your feet wider to make this more comfortable for you. Then slowly switch sides. Lower your left hand to replace your right and reach your right arm high. Then lower your right hand back down. And with a generous bend in both knees, fold even deeper. Add a chest expansion by interlacing your hands behind your lower back. Press your knuckles up towards the ceiling or let gravity take hold as your arms fall forward. Remember to soften your eyebrows, your eyelids, your jaw even in the postures that feel very intense. Then gently release your chest expansion, walk your hands forward, 
and make your way to Downward Facing Dog. From here, step your right foot towards the top of your mat. If you need to, grab your ankle with your hand to pull your foot up so that your knee is stacked above your ankle. Then lower your back knee down to the mat. And with your hands on both sides of your front foot, just sink into your hips. No need to push or force anything here. This is enough of an opening to relax into and breathe. So with your shoulders soft, your whole face relaxed. Breathe so deep you can connect this breath to the sensation you're feeling in your left hip flexor. You're welcome to stay here or to add a variation We've done this before called the booty drop. Walk both hands inside of your front ankle, toe heeling your right foot to the side of your mat. Then lower your left hip down towards the mat as you pivot onto your left foot. With your right knee still pointing up, you should feel a lot of sensation in your right glute and hip, even along your left side body. Now to make your way to a runner's lunge, shift your hips back to center with your left toes down behind you, both hands planted inside of your right foot, sink into your hips, and this time let your head hang heavy. And you're welcome to lower your back knee down so you can completely give in to gravity. And with your right foot up near the right corner of your mat, begin to shift your hips back as your right leg straightens out. As you do so, keep your right toes pointed like you are trying to touch the pad of your right toe down onto the mat. You should feel a lot of sensation along the front of your right ankle, right foot, and along your right hamstring. Then slowly shift your hips back. Take a seat on your back heel, and with your hands anywhere to support you, first focus on hinging from your hips. Breathe length into your spine. Over time, begin to lean forward over your right leg. One more big breath in and big breath out. Take your time as you walk your hands forward and make your way back into downward facing dog. Notice any difference in sensation between your right and left side.
And when you're ready, step your left foot forward. Stack knee on top of ankle. Then lower your back knee down to your mat. Sink into your hips. And find your deep breath. In and out through your nose. So deep that your belly inflates and deflates. Releasing tension from your right hip flexor with each exhale. Now for the booty drop. Toe heel your left foot open towards the left side of your mat and shift your hips. Your right hip lowers down to the mat, pivoting onto the knife edge of your right foot. Find a similar variation that you took on the other side, something that you can breathe and still relax into, even though it might be very intense. Keep your face calm, your breath deep, and just enjoy the sensation and any connection with your breath. And slowly shift your hips back to center, making your way to your runner's lunge. So with both hands inside of your left foot, lower your back knee down to your mat, sink into your hips, and this time, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Breathe. Slowly rise, shift your hips back as you straighten out your left leg, but keep your left toes pointing, lengthening out the top side of your left foot. Maintain length through your chest and shoulders so you can hinge from your hips and breathe into whatever you feel here. Then slowly sit back on your right heel. With your left leg straight out in front of you, do your best to hinge from your hips, lengthen through your spine. Then slowly fold your body over your left leg and trust that over time and with a deep breath, your left hamstring will melt and you will fold even deeper. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your nose. Slowly rise. Making your way back to your downward facing dog. Move as slow as you'd like to go. Let's set up cow facing legs. Bring your right knee up between your hands. Then step your left knee behind your right and take a seat on your hips. So your right leg is crossed deeply over your left. 
adjust so that your hips are square and even, so you're not just sitting on one hip. Wherever you are, take your hands to the arches of your feet and give yourself a little foot rub, massaging out any tension or tight areas in your feet, arches, ankles, or toes. From here, begin to walk your hands forward and hinge from your hips as you fold over your cow legs. Feel free to rest your forehead in your hands or just let your head hang heavy, shoulders roll open. Slowly rise. And using your hands to support you, turn your body to the left, to the left again, to the left again, and you'll be sitting on your left hip with your right leg crossed over. Just a funky transition to switch sides. Adjust so you're sitting evenly on both hips as much as you can. Sit up tall, relax your hips. And this time, instead of the foot rub, we'll do something called a toe hug. So with your palms touching the soles of your feet, thread your fingers between your toes. If your feet begin to cramp, then back off and take your time as you slowly ease your way in. Otherwise, you might be able to get it so that the webbing of your fingers goes all the way to the webbing of your toes and just squeeze, hold, breathe. And you'll notice a big opening, a really interesting sensation throughout the muscles and the tiny bones in your feet. Release your toe hug and notice any new sensation. And when you're ready, slowly fold forward. Feel your belly press into your thighs as you breathe. Relax your shoulders and hips and melt into this pose for several deep slow breaths as you breathe smooth and deep. Nice and slow, begin to rise. Use your hands to support you as you unravel your legs and come to lie down on your back. For Supta Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open like butterfly legs. Feel your whole body becoming heavy as you melt through the mat beneath you. Draw your navel in towards your spine then pull your knees together and into your chest for a full wind pose. 
And that's it for today's routine. If you like that and you want to take your flexibility to a whole new level, like where it's never been before, then I want you to try one of my members only videos. It's called the Hips Slow Stretch and it's filled with long holding, yin style, deep hip opening postures that'll drastically improve your flexibility. All you have to do is click the first link in the description of this video, enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you that video. So go do that right now. And then if you like this video, let me know by clicking the like button below and leave a comment to tell me your favorite part. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you never miss a video because I'm uploading new yoga and lifestyle videos every week to help you stretch, strengthen, tone, and de-stress on and off your mat. I'll see you next time. Bye.